This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt in the ABC 10 News studio. Local groups are demanding action on gun violence in the wake of the school shooting in Texas. The group Moms Demand Action is having a candlelight vigil at Waterfront Park downtown Wednesday night. They're calling for new federal laws, including gun background checks and safe gun storage. Gun rights groups accuse gun safety groups of politicizing the shooting for their own agenda. The debacle over new bike lanes in Mira Mesa will end up costing San Diego taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars. The new bike lanes popped up on Gold Coast in April. The community wasn't warned about the change in advance, and the lanes were so unpopular that the city restriped the street back to the way it was. Team 10 obtained records showing the whole affair totaled to $68,000. Mayor Todd Gloria told us the lack of communication was addressed with city staff and it will not happen again. We'll get ready for a lot more hassle going to and from the airport. Construction on the front of Terminal 1 begins June 5th. The Terminal 1 parking lot will close. All cars will have to be out of the lot by June 15th and the new Terminal 1 parking plaza will not be open until 2024. This means there are fewer parking spaces available. Travelers are advised to get a ride to and from the airport if possible. We have a big holiday weekend ahead and meteorologist Angelica Campos is watching the forecast. Angelica. Kimberly, it's been a pretty nice week so far. We've seen temperatures go up and they will continue warming up just slightly as we go into tomorrow, upper 70s from our inland valleys to our mountains. But in the deserts, it is hot, 104 degrees for tomorrow. Near the coast, patchy fog in the morning. We should see more sunshine throughout the day. I'll explain the changes on the way heading this week, heading into the county this weekend coming up. 